Yenda nazina la mandefi jonathan mbezi o chila mpanda ya chila mpanda mene nda peacemaker ya so nazizulu mazi kuluma mo chila mpanda siya kuluma wakuti ya hangi lale sa nsa sa mazi mwuma isu noma isu noma isu lingu ni la wajis at all but isla sa mazi wizu kuti kutamuz so i just need Mounting it la, it's the most yellow. I will be talking about it. I just want to see peace in Africa. Uh, most of the time, in this kind of thing, uh, we talk about Africa. Uh, we talk about uh, immigrant, immigrants coming from other countries, uh, uh, from other countries coming to South Africa. Uh, I myself, I'm a person who is staying in the uh, border areas in Limpopo. Um, uh, Bembe River. I can, I see the both sides of the river in Zimbabwe, in South Africa. We see people uh, uh, crossing the border, border or crossing the river to South Africa. Uh, it's painful, but other people they will just check it uh, easy, saying that maybe uh, Africans when they come to uh, to South Africa. Uh, they come to check some jo jobs for, from South Africans. But I think, uh, to be precise, uh, I think uh, people from other countries, when they come to South Africa, it is because of the need greener pastures, better to uh, support the uh, uh, kids or their families back home. Uh, I remember sometimes back, uh, one of the, the old people where I come from, they were always saying that if you know, if you are young people, or, uh, if you see those Makwerekwerez coming to South Africa, you start to fight them to Nishiba um, Gidimisa uh, going to their play, and they don't have that time to uh, circle in that area, uh, especially in places like Messina. Uh, standard university chat. So it is a bad thing as Africans to always fight each other and then these things of xenophobia because uh, I am one of the people who is doing this research about Africans. Firstly, I was doing it only for my own tribe. I can say clean, the basic clean, uh, where I come from myself. Uh, it's where I saw that there are embedded people in South Africa, there are embedded people in Zimbabwe, there are embedded people in Busan, there are embedded people in Mozambique. So the borders, they just came and divided us, but as I see it, uh, we are one. Uh, even though there are some places uh, which are here in South Africa, which are also named in Zimbabwe. We have the Makado here in South Africa. We have Makado in Zimbabwe. We have uh, a Mapungubwe here in South Africa. We have Mapungubwe in Zimbabwe. We have a lot of names, even Senems, Ndo, um, Murawzi, all these things. So as Africans, I think the only thing that we have to do is to come together as a, a, and build our Africa together. The things which we uh, people like um, Kwame Nkrumah came to uh, and talk about it. Uh, people like um, uh, Gaddafi spoke about it. People like uh, Chabon Mbeki here in South Africa, where, uh, when he came to Nepal, he spoke about those things. So we as, Af as Africans, we have to work together to build our Africa together. Uh, because sometimes we always say that uh, the Westerns, or I can say the white people, they are better than us Africans. Most of us were just taught that uh, if you see a good thing happening, you will always hear that, ah, Zoma Kuwa is, because uh, we belittled ourselves and then thought that. Uh, the good things are for uh, the only white people. Because most of the times, even though I am a black person, because the Balungu people, 
they do better things than us. But that's wrong. that is wrong. But places like Mapungubwe, places like Great Zimbabwe, places like um, uh, pyramids in Egypt. Uh, we can go to uh, to, uh, to Mali. We have got a lot of things which is happening here in Africa. But to come to the point of saying that xenophobia, we can do anything uh, fighting each other. But the main thing which will uh, which will come to us, we will kill even kill our brothers because. Africans, we have moved, we have been moving up and down. Some, as we, we say, we look at it today, people like the Ndebele people in Zimbabwe, they came until Kwazulu uh, uh, Natal, but they were going back up. So most of the people were moving up and down, and then we are brothers and sisters as Africans. And then my brother, I just heard you talking about uh, uh, the health, uh, the, the, the migrants when they come to South Africa, the health system. Uh, it was, it was, uh, it is so bad to see an African being treated badly about the uh, other uh, uh, Africans here in South Africa. You know, it is painful because you find out that a person goes to hospital or to clinic. And then when they are there, they are treated uh, like uh, a piece of, uh, I don't want to say this word, <laughs> yeah, but because, um, because these guys, they think that Amakwere uh, Kwere, they are not human enough to be here in South Africa. But uh, if they, it was white people, Hey, what is happening? They are coming this side because that person is white. We black people, we have first to do things uh, for ourselves as people of Africa. And there are many people who are talking about uh, uh, the guru about Africa, even here in South Africa. We have got uh, the political parties like uh, APF, uh, um, Julius Malima with his political party, even though Julius Malima sometimes uh, he tend to be <laughs> so <laughs> so arrogant in other things, but I think he's a good leader here and there. So we must try by all means to build Africa and make it uh, uh, a better Africa, which the coming generations, when they come, they will see that these guys, uh, they did something. We, you know, if you look at people like uh, Kwame Krumah, the guy wanted to build an African that if everybody listened to him during those days when he spoke about uh, building one Africa, I think we're supposed to be far now, you see. Yeah, as uh, you also asked me about the stigma of to, uh, in people coming outside of, Africa, uh, outside of South Africa, you know, I myself, the first time when I came in Johannesburg, it was uh, very bad because I didn't even know to speak the, la the main languages like uh, Sisotho or Isizulu. I only knew to speak this event. So people, when they, when you, oh, you, you even fear to speak uh, uh, with other people because they will take you as a quere quere, you know, even though you speak your vendor even though you speak your, your, your tsonga, because in Sokovele, tsonga, they were saying that they are uh, from Mozambique, mm -hmm. uh, Venda, they are from Zimbabwe, all those things. But now nowadays it's a little bit better because I move around in other um, suburbs or townships. I can hear the tsonga people, they are happy to speak their own languages, or the Sutu people, I think. The, the vendors people speaking their own languages. But the main thing, my brothers and sisters, let us build our Africa together. Thank you so much.